Good day everyone, and welcome back to XCOM, Enemy Within. Now I believe next order of business is likely going to be this covert operation. Well, assuming nothing else comes up. Oh, before that, let me just double check. Did I have anything that I wanted to do? I do have a bit of extra money on hand at the moment. Can't build any facilities. Well, I suppose I want to get this excavated. Perhaps even get this next access lift going ASAP. Hmm, that's perhaps a bit unnecessary, but oh fine. That takes the rest of my power for the time being. Excavation complete. Right, covert ops again. Now there's two different types of these covert operation missions. One was the Excellent. transponder we defense we already saw. Other one is a kind of data recovery. Now, who are we taking along? Right. Ryan, you're coming along. I want to get you leveled up ASAP. I think I'm gonna take my noob troop once again. Although that does have some risks. Well, we seemed to wipe the floor with the Exalt last time, so I shouldn't be too concerned. Is there anybody else that I would really like to level up? Hmm. Bringing these tanks along is a bit wasteful, considering they gain no experience. Hmm. Tell you what, Tamala, you're up. are unnecessary as we found out in the previous one. Once again going a bit high risk with no proper medic. But we do have one med kit. I'm quite confident that we'll make it. Yes, this is looking good. Alright. Detected an exalt cell operating out of India. Once strike one is on the ground, we'll need to secure the area to allow our operative to acquire the necessary data. Alright. This is sounding like a data recovery mission. I can tell because Central said it's a data exalt recovery mission. Exalt spooked one of our field operatives who was attempting to recover new intelligence by hacking an exalt comm relay. Strike one is going in to ensure the operative is covered while decrypting the data from the remaining relays. We have to keep that operative alive if we're going to recover the remaining intel. Objective updated. Yeah, so our covert operative who starts out all the way over here needs to get next to these two things, activate them, and then we have to get to the extraction point. Now as you can see, our covert operative is really far away from our main squad and all of this is unexplored te territory. So what we want to do first is move our operative move. far away from everything where she can't trigger. Oh yeah, I do have a proper medic with me. She's a support. Good. Think about that. So I want to keep her hunger down all the way over there while our main squad explores as much of the ground here as possible. Out. These types of missions typically have more enemies starting out in the map already. Headed there now. Actually, this started a fight. This is the these are the ideal moments to use these battle scanners. It's perhaps a slightly risky crebble. I'm rolling. 
it would leave her up there. Uncovered with no movement. Moving. What I want to do is get my sniper up there. Of course this roof over here can't really be used. Nice. Have some background music for this fight. I'm rolling. Copy that. Roger, I've got eyes on. No time limit once again. On Overwatch. Scanning cool. Covering now. Sounds like their comms don't need any kind of... Kind of hacking. Sound pretty busted as it is. Hmm. This may not be the best spot for sniping after all. And depends on how many enemies we see. Moving to position. Smash. Huh. Usually quiet once again. Hey, what the? Okay. You hear that? Just have a quick peek over here. Perhaps I shouldn't have done. Oh, you poor. Poor summer child. Well, perhaps just to be 100% sure, I'm gonna move my support. The hell away from there. At ninety percent. Going hot. <laughs> Double time. Let's just put ourselves in a ambush yeah, position. Commander. You just hang out. Moving. Affirmative, covering now. Disappointing. On the move. Enemy inside. Oh. blowing the hell out of these guys. No, not like that. Affirmative. 
that ought to take care of both of them because it's gonna blow up this car as well. Well, not sure how far over here they were actually. Oh. Ha. Oh man, they are not having a good time today. Not exactly safe enough yet to start moving our operative. Let's just keep covering more ground. There is everybody. Okay. J'y vais. Je reste en observation. Orders confirmed. On the move. I do like those tunes. Wait, what? How do you? Oh, it's a new turn. I'm on it, Commander. I was thinking, how on earth did we still have movement left? We can now take a peek at our operative. Fairly sure this is clear, but I can't hold my breath though. They're yeah, gonna start spawning in soon. At least once we start. Fiddling around with these transponders or whatever they are, com relays. Hmm. Can't move the door with this fire, unfortunately. Moving out. D'accord. Position. Oh, that would have been better. Never mind. Target confirmed. On our way. I have to remember to use these battle scanners. They're at their best at the early part of a fight. Orders confirmed. On the move. Overwatch. But, um, there may not be any exalt forces on the map at the moment, seeing how the turns pass instantly. I think once we move next to this thing, they're gonna start spawning in. This is a multi-level building. Means I should not Moving. dash our operative in. There could be somebody up here, and they would have a clear shot on us. Than were. Holy, can you get a battle scanner anywhere useful? Through the window, perhaps. There is that one going. Is that inside? No, I don't think so. Maybe it is. Ah. Moving out. Over here then. No, oh, but I do have eyes over there already. Hmm. I might. And I suppose there's nothing else to it but to hold our ground here. Affirmative, covering now. Overwatch, aye aye. Heading out. Overwatch. I'm on it. Oh, 
exalt guys start spawning in from all over the place so giving a couple people back here is not a bad idea that's affirmative commander our operative is in position near a comm relay you just need to activate it to retrieve the missing data excellent we've decrypted a piece of the data and it looks like exalt communications were temporarily disrupted by the hack now we just need to find the remaining relays all right so does that disruption mean that this works also as uh, disables their weapons temporarily Scanning. haven't ever paid attention to that on overwatch okay je surveille la zone on overwatch Heading there now. Roger that. Scanning. Eyes peeled, Commander. Nice promotion. Kill confirmed. Ah, damn it. Moving to position. Nice. It's guaranteed a kill. Target eliminated. I'm rolling. That's it, Commander. We've decrypted the last of the data. Now we just need to get our operative to the evac point. New objective received. I'm rolling. Moving. Hey, them. Oh, never mind. Thought that car, car had gone mission. Right, I suppose you can just stay back here. Got it. Moving. There was a door there, you know. Moving the designated position. Melanie. Scan cool. Now we can decide to just uh, sprint our operative over to the evac point and call it a day. But of course, experience is always experience, so. Unlikely to get a hit over there, so I may as well just bother them as much as I can. My snipers all the way over here. On the move. Oh, this guy's toast. Planted him. Support hasn't gotten a kill this mission, so let's get her up there. Moving out. Right. Tamala put some suppression over there. Suppressing. Oh good, it's got the holo targeting as well.
And the Exalt are not having a good time today. That's about as shredded as a man can be. Copy that. Right, actually, you stay back oh, here. Mind any spawns. Hey, a little help? Ah. Counter suppression. That's a Mexican standoff right there. Oh, interestingly about the exalts. I think I already mentioned it. He's down. Guns dry. They have classes similar to us. No longer a threat. Wait, what? Oh no, never mind. Oh. Don't miss. Good. Adieu. <laughs> On it. Anybody else in our squad who hasn't gotten a kill? Jones, have you got any? and some valuable new intel are safe and sound. Good. I get the feeling that we may be a bit overpowered. I'm certainly impressed with the results so far, especially considering the conditions down there. Alright, next level of mech. So now we have the choice of repair servos, confess to health recovery, each turn a maximum of six. Mm, not a huge fan. A heal of six is not that much, honestly, considering how many medkits we can deploy in a battle. Other option is expanded storage. Additional uses of restorative mist, grenade launcher and proximity mine launcher and increases base ammo by 50%. Now this is extremely valuable for mechs, as they run out of ammo so fast. And the extra uses for all our tools are very much appreciated. Absolutely. Right, Jones. Now what was I gonna do with you? Maybe since I already have a defensive and an offensive assault, maybe you should become a sort of hybrid of the two. What I would do though, that's another question. Now, which one do I like more? Tactical sense or aggression? I do think offense typically is better than defense in most cases. Hmm. Well, let's go for that. McGregor. You can be a backup. Damage heavy. And Tamala, you are our defensive heavy or supportive heavy. But even so, it went the choice with Grenadier or Danger. Oh, of course. Support heavy is absolutely go for danger zone because of the effect on the suppression ability. No question about it. Good. Another Council Medal of Honor. I think this was quite powerful. We got some cash. And the intel has revealed Exalt bases in not in one of the world's five most populous countries. Okay, so that rules out China and India for sure. Intel decrypted. Possible Exalt base locations narrowed. Yeah. Trolled out those two. I think the other ones were already already ruled out. We well, want to get this intel until we're hundred percent sure to make the accusation. All right, what's next? We get a bit of extra cash. Anything in the foundry we would like? Well, I might be a bit of a greedy fool. Well, shift suppression. That's quite cheap. Yeah, I was saying I might be a bit greedy and just wait until I get the bonus, continent bonus from Asia before I start doing this. It does save us quite a bit of money. Oh, that uses a lot of alloys, actually. But, 
ton of alloys. Whoa, but it is useful. Once again, mechs also benefit from this greatly, but so does everyone else. Stealth satellites I don't think I'm going to need, so I'm likely going to focus on air defenses enough that we're not at risk of getting shot down. Do you use scopes a lot, so this would be useful for us. Hmm, perhaps just to spend money on something. Fine. We're certainly keeping the boys down in the foundry busy. I'll let them know you've got another project ready for production. Contact detected. Oh. Small scout. And it has landed as well. Have we had a landed UFO yet? Hmm, not sure. Alright, I just wanted to level up these guys as a service, a kind of backup. But Rue, I'm going to level up as the support. Support, support. If that makes sense. But who else are we gonna take along for the ride? Now, Lady Grey, I want to keep leveling up because I want to turn her into a mech, as I've mentioned. Who else? Need a proper medic. So shield you are up. Well it is only a small scout. Shouldn't perhaps be too concerned. Hmm. Don't have any assaults on me at the moment. Alright. Yuri. You are up. Don't think there's... Not sure if there's any new aliens to catch at the moment, but... Always good to have one, just in case. Hmm. Yes. Australia has sent a number. HQ, this is Big Sky. We are in position and awaiting further orders. Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. Moving out. Clear to engage. Seekers, huh? Got it covered. Heading to that location. On Overwatch. That's affirmative. Right, I've got my eyes on. Heading there now. Come get some. Moving out. Moving to Overwatch. <laughs> Oh, you poor, poor bastard. So best bet is to try and get as aggressive as possible and not worry about the meld. Try to finish the mission before any of them get old, so to speak. On my way. 
Visual on the goods. Right, that one's seven turns, which is good. That's a lot of turns. Moving to designated coordinates. Already there. Ooh, that's a bit of a risky run, perhaps. But that's what I do. On the move. Hmm. Well, that one's only got four turns, so perhaps would be the best to move towards. Moving. Landed UFOs always give a full set of loot. Uh oh. And that was smart, wasn't it? Weapons free. Well, as far as moves go, that was perhaps one of the worst ones I've ever made. But, nothing like a little drama, huh? Can't kill him if you don't kill him. I want to capture this guy alive. I want his plasma pistol. I should start collecting those. Oh crap. Please don't kill my people. Yikes. No seriously, don't... Ah. Yeah, this is the mechtoid slash sectoid special ability. I can give the thing a shield. But similar to the regular sectoid buff, if we kill the guy who's giving the buff, we'll do we'll take out the shield of course and we'll do a bit of damage to the mechtoid. Alright. It's a 80% shot. I would rather have I used the headshot on this sectoid. No one was overwatching, I think. Hmm. What is the move? I would like to punch this thing with a kinetic strike, but first I want to take out this guy. Who is the best person for the job? They weren't overwatching, were they? Hmm, 67. Not impressive, I was kind of saying. Oh, but Segal. He has the close on personal ability, which is interesting. Got a lot of options here, but perhaps. Yes, I think Segal's close and personal may be best served against this guy. So let's try to take out the shield first. It's 80%. Hmm. Right, 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 right. Headshot. Alright, two and three. Ah ha 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 ha. Oh, this game has got a sense of humor. Oh, I forgot about poor Beloy. Beloy, what can you do? Damn, look at this danger zone. Oh, great. Tell you what. Where did the outsider go? It's right over there. I don't even mind that. Team would love to get their hands on that thing. Oh Christ, there's a cyber disc as well. Uh, 
um, game seems to have glitched out ever so slightly. Bugged. We are bugged. Yeah. We are completely glitched out. Up. Oh yeah. Oh now we're completely borked. Now I can't even go to the there we go. This should be at the start of the turn. They're moving around the side. Right, so what did I do? Uh I moved over here. Took a shot. They should miss again because of the way of the way the random number generator in this game works. Ah. Is there any way that I could replicate what happened. Did I do... Because the way the random number generation works in this game is you should get the same results each time you load the game, I believe. Ah, I did this. I don't want to cheat, that's why I'm trying to get the same ones. No. Fine. Was there anything else that I... Else that I did before that that could have affected the random numbers? Hmm, perhaps not. But what I did was this clever move over here. I'm sure my team would love to get their hands on that thing. Oh damn, those things get an overwatch instantly. I wonder... Now that there's a hole over here... Does this count as a... Hmm... Count as a line of sight, so our character can't move. Oh man, there's all sorts of drama here. All sorts of interesting shit. Well, I can't. I was thinking about trying to catch this guy, but I can't prioritize something like that. Not at a time like this. Tell you what. Now, oh, with this close and personal, we can take a free shot at this guy. Doesn't even cost the move. percent not the kind of odds that I like I'll try it need to put a rocket in there because it'll take out a lot of valuable salvage but then again thanks to the slingshot mission I'm not really hurting for any sort of salvage so eh Now, uh, shooting cyber disks seems to move them back into this kind of dormant, semi-dormant state. Now I wonder if that means that their overwatch is also gone. Could perhaps use this as a chance to test that out. Alright now, full on damage. Let's go rapid fire on this bitch. Or should we? I'm just gonna take out this sectoid then. Perhaps we could. Thing is, I would like to have my mech take a shot at this thing. Although now that it's alone, practically it's not that critical. So perhaps Segal do the greedy move. Try to catch this guy. Sleep tight. 
gets us a plasma pistol. Do you punch that fool? Try that you didn't take out that wall though. Okay, just do it the old fashioned way. It still took out the wall. I... Well, no big deal really. Alright, we are in full cover here. No reason to move. Shot failed to connect. Ah, forgot about you. percent not the kind of odds that I like these things explode when you take them out so don't get too close sixty seven Ooh. Another successful operation. That was dramatic. Okay, perhaps we shouldn't underestimate even small scouts from this this point on. Right, Edith, you finally reach Corporal. Now you can pick covering fire. Allows reaction shots to trigger enemy attacks, not just movement. Interesting ability. Shame that it has to come at the price of Sprinter. You do your captain. Now we have a choice. Bring him on would boost the damage on critical hits, which certainly synergizes with uh, with uh, these damage dealing assaults. But does it synergize enough? I mean, you have to see enemy, a lot of enemies to get the maximum value out of it, but then when you do get value out of it, it can be really impactful. Then close combat specialist, well it's powerful, so a bit more situational. There's not many enemy types like to move close to you, although certainly you can move close to them, flank them and force them to go somewhere else. Both of these are interesting, so eh, let's just for experimentation's sake try to bring them on. Alright, Holly, you are finally a Major. Only one more level before we can turn you into a Mech. The snipers at the Major level get low profile, which makes partial cover count as full. Quite useful. Alright, so we got the drones. These are things that follow, uh, follow cyber disks around and do repairs on them. They can also do little bits of damage, if they really get into it. Alright, good stuff. And I really took that one out. Ah. Uh oh. Well, this episode's getting a bit long, but. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the Hologlobe. Alright, so we have Tijuana. I think uh, Canada is particularly bothered at the moment. So Tijuana would be the logical choice for that, and Asia and Europe are pretty, uh, pretty much okay. Yeah, well, what was it, France? Hmm, the thing is... Wait, no, it was UK, right, yeah. Countries with satellites can't be targets of these abductions. Yeah, France and Germany, they're gonna be a bit upset, but not too upset. But if I choose Mexico, then Canada. Well, Canada is already pissed off, so... 
Then what was the other option? India. UK would give us a heavy. Yeah, Asia is out of the question. It's practically unpanicked. Comes down to a choice between the UK and... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for Mexico. The rewards also affect the selection there. We take along for the ride. We should start leveling up all of these guys actually. Yeah, try to get as many of them. Try to start getting people into colonel level soon enough, particularly my A squad. Do I need? Well, I'm missing an assault. So, Svetlana, you are up. Do I only have two assaults at the moment? No, I do have. Yeah, and three. Do well. Should actually uh, take Naima along for the ride as well. She also needs leveling up. Uh oh, got the most important one. How we looking? We're looking good. Yeah. putting down in Mexico for this mission. Central, Big Sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Right, uh, train yard. Don't remember playing this map. At least not in a long while. Moving out. Alien canister located. Right, so we got meddled over there. By the way, Naima, you get yourself up to high ground instantly. Ah, okay. Managed to catch a line of sight on aliens without them seeing us. And this is actually the prime moment for us to be using our battle scanners. The battle scanners give vision to our squad side sniper. We can then take a shot. I'm rolling. Hostile spotted. Oh no. Oh, that sucks. Now I have to take them out. Otherwise, they're gonna shoot my squad side. X -ray neutralized. No matter, we can do that. We can toss uh, battle scanner next turn as well. I'm on it, Commander. What do you mean? Can't shoot. Put some oppression down. Commander. 
Oh, good, of course. We have the pistol. Well, that's a waste of uh, oppression. No matter. That's some mutons for sure. Alright, put a scanner as far away over there as you can. this map. Is it a long one that stretches out? Not terribly long. Hmm. Affirmative. Back in. On my way. Eyes on target. Oh, crud. Ah, oh, that's a cyber disk as well. Oh, what can our squad side do? Ah, oh, damn thing. Ah, oh, that's what I like. Wait, what? Oh. Hmm. Go for a power move. Two, thirty-two, seventy-two. Hmm. Let's go for the seventy-two on the big boy. Or alternatively, we also put down some smoke, although we are in high cover. Perhaps this since we are so close to the enemy. Perhaps it's best we avoid taking damage ourselves. And in case these boxes get destroyed, it'll help protect our Spot a bit. They're moving around the side. Ow. Oh, that could have been bad. Right. So that uh, Cyberdisk is overwatched for sure. Now, since this drone is in smoke, we're also gonna have a somewhat hard of a time hitting it. Let's use this to try and trigger the overwatch. No, it moved quite a, f quite a distance away, apparently. Huh. Could try to stun this guy. Not that we really need to. Oh, is that a full size plasma or a light plasma? Hmm. Position confirmed. Canister in tow. Heading up. 
Uh oh, that's a bit too far. Crap. <laughs> I am not at my best today. Well, at least we have some squad side over there. Absolutely. Done as much violence as you can. Ah. This is not quite a lost cause. Just yet. This is high risk, but. Sixty-one, sixty-one. Guaranteed kill over there. It can reduce a lot of damage. I wonder if that smoke extends up there. Doubtful, but you can hope. Hmm. Is that a flanking Moving. shot, I see? Wait a minute, someone's flanking us over here. Oh yeah, the draw. Don't care about the draw. Nice. Wait, I've got another sniper over here as well. It's one thing about this game is that poor plays can always be placed by great luck. Uh oh. Oh, interesting shot. Sure. It's probably the same, isn't it? Yes. Oh, that's actually a bit too close to my assault. Once again, I forgot about the hollow targeting. No matter. So I guess it's just a one tile radius explosion. Aye, aye, Commander. Operational cool. objectives completed. Awesome. An impressive effort. I'm glad our troops were able to safely acquire more of the mares. Good. Naima is now a major level as well. So smoky. Yeah, it seems the characters really start racking up levels in the late game. Suppose it's because there's more enemies all over the place. Now, heavy is on the major level. They get will to survive. Reduces all normal damage taken by two, if in cover and not flanked. This makes them quite tanky. And Twitch. Oh, Twitch gets extra conditioning. Another very tanky ability. Confers bonus health based on which type of armor is equipped. Heavier armor increases the bonus. Now, as you can see with the skeleton suit, she only gets a 
normally it, it would be plus 3, now it's plus 5. But, as it said, the armor type affects it, so... We will be in touch, Commander. Is anybody panicking? Nope. So, if we were to build... Carapace armor. And give that... Svetlana. This new body armor was developed using what we've learned from the alloys employed in the alien ship. It should prove to be both lighter and stronger than anything we've used in the past. Now it's a plus eight. So as it said, heavier armor increases the bonus and with this ability, uh, assaults are starting to get more value out of carapace armors over the skeleton suits. Although I'd certainly, certainly value the abilities the skeleton suit gives as well. Alright, that was good. This was quite an eventful episode. Not the best best plays I've ever made, I have to admit, but as I said, always room for a bit of drama. Now the next episode, at, well at first I was thinking about delaying the base assault until next month, but I think we're all curious to see what the deal is with the alien base. So that is going to be the subject of our next episode. But that is it for this one. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode.